Hey guys, welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. I'm Carrie Ann, and today we're going to try this balloon smash. Um, <laughs> I don't know, first time, we'll see what happens. I'm using a super cheap, small little canvas, it's an 8x10, and I coated it with um, some gray paint. And um, I went to the dollar store, got a bag of cheapo balloons, and let me tell you, they are cheapo. Look at, look at how mis misshapen they are. <laughs> so I blew up a couple of them so that I had a couple of examples to use. Um, I'm really just kind of going to play around and see what, res what actions produce what kind of results. So I've got a, a small and, and a little larger balloon here ready to go. And I had read that um, it was a good idea to take like a, a fabric softener sheet and rub that on your balloons beforehand and that will help um, eliminate fuzzies and what have you that might be attracted to the um, static in the balloon. <laughs> I guess it's not working because it's, it's sticking to me. Eh, whatever. Okay, so we got our canvas. I'm going to use some blues and some, uh, this is called Worn Penny and a metallic champagne gold. So it looks to me like what we start with is just uh, sort of lining the canvas with some stripes of your paint. Your, uh, and again, um, as usual, these paints are um, mostly Artist Loft. They've got some Deco Art and maybe, oh no, I think it's it, Artist Loft and Deco Art is what I got today. Um, and they're all mixed with Floetrol. No water, no silicone. I really like the effects that this, this balloon smash makes. Um, it's really pretty. <clears throat> kind of a uh, flower shape. Oh. Drop something in there, we don't want that. So I'm hoping that I have the same flower shape result. All right, I think that's enough paint to start working with. So here we go, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> I think you're supposed to sort of uh, direct the balloon at the <laughs> nipple of the balloon, which these cheapo <laughs> balloons don't have much of that, but I do have a point, you can see, so I think I'm gonna try and use that. So I'm just going to press down, kind of firm. I'm not twisting or anything. I'm just pressing down and pulling up. And that didn't do anything exciting. And you're also supposed to wipe your balloon off in between each dip. Well, uh, so far I'm kind of disappointed in this. I'm going to try to hit along the edge of this stripe. And this time I'm going to do some twists. Yeah. Well, let's keep going. Let's see if we can get it. Figure this guy out. And perhaps I have too much paint. There's not, um, there's too much paint there for the balloon to manipulate, I think. So I'm going to spread it out a little bit. All right, let's tackle this thinner area here. Press down a little further. Well, that one's a little cooler. Mm -hmm. I didn't twist, I just pressed down pretty firm and pulled up. Okay, I think I might have got it here. So I'm pressing down against the canvas and then sort of rolling the balloon off. And that seemed to make something there. So let's try that again. Pressing down, roll it off. Yeah, that's a little, a little better. Let's keep trying that. Press it down, roll it off. I guess if you use your imagination, those kind of look like flowers. <laughs> Press it down, roll it off. 
My hope was if I tried this on a cheap little canvas and figured out what method to use, I could do it again on a larger canvas with maybe some spring colors. So I'm hoping that's, hopefully that's where we get. This is coming along. So that, I think that's the trick. Press and sort of roll, roll the balloon off before you lift it up. I'm not sure. I tried to get the camera as close as I could because I know this is a tiny canvas, but um, I'm not sure whether you can see there are some cells popping up. Oh, I may have just taken off a bunch of paint with that one. Again, this is an experiment. My goal is to figure out the best method to use with this balloon smash. Kind of leaning towards the a rolling off method. Certainly is messy. Make sure you're, uh, before you start this, you have plenty of rags around because I'm wiping off a bunch of paint every time. I wonder what would happen if I just didn't wipe it off and went back in. Well, I don't have too much paint on that balloon, so I think I'm okay. I'm kind of going along the edges of that stripe of paint that I made, sort of spreading it out a little bit. I'm going to wipe that off. Why couldn't I take and just move? Yeah. I guess another method I saw. Um, <clears throat> The person had taken a bunch of paint and put it in a separate bowl off to the side and then took the balloon and dipped it in the bowl and then uh, smashed it on the blank canvas. So there's another method I might try next time. I think, I think I'm getting the hang of it. So yeah, so definitely the press down and roll seems to produce some sort of um, almost shell-like shapes. And I think once those dry, they'll maintain that shape. Yeah, okay, I think I'll just keep playing around this a little bit. But um, yeah, lesson I think today is for me that at least the technique of how to get the balloon, how to put the balloon onto the canvas is the press and roll it off method. That produces some cool little shapes that I like. Um, yeah, so I think that's all. I think I'll sign off for today. And I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to see some more of my stuff, please hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.